A while back, we got confirmation of Luigi indeed being cut from Super Mario 64, and I did a coverage of it in what became this channel's breakout video. While that leak showed a great deal on it, there was never any official material on Luigi actually being played in the game. Until now, a lost piece of media from the Nintendo Shoshenkai 1995 event showcases our one and only footage of Luigi being not only shown off, but in the game actually running in multiplayer mode. And so today on Cut Content, we're going to take this opportunity to not only update on our last Luigi video, but also dissect everything that can be seen in this short clip from how it relates to the multiplayer data that is left over in the data of the game, to the cut map that they're roaming on. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell too to further support us and keep creating new videos. Now before looking too closely at the multiplayer segment, let's quickly go over what we know about Luigi and Mario 64. Luigi was being made of course as a second playable character, as confirmed by Shigeru Miyamoto in an old interview in the Japanese strategy guide for Super Mario 64. However, he had to be cut due to memory issues. And for the longest time, that was it. Rumors spread like wildfire during the heyday of this game, including a rumor of Luigi being unlocked at the star statue, where some may read the scribble as L is real 2401. Of course many took that a lot of different ways, such as if you collect that many coins, it unlocks Luigi. Which isn't the case considering there are only 2090 coins proven to be in the game. Alternatively, this can be read as Eternal Star, which retrospectively made more sense. But regardless, with how deeply this game was data mined, Luigi was nowhere to be found. But regardless, in the data, there was code referring to both a multiplayer mode that is incomplete and the ability to control a second set of shadows aside from Mario's, along with loading two characters into the same level, but Luigi himself was nowhere to be found. And eventually, during the July 2020 Giga leak, a leak of Luigi's model came out at long last. Not just his base model, but also a medium and low poly model too, for seeing him at different distances while not taxing the game much as what the Mario model does, and is very noticeable in HD. Yikes. All coming in pieces of course, with how early N64 models were, but were eventually pieced together and along with those came his textures, including his mustache, hair, and L on his cap. But bigger than those were these player 1 and 2 symbols. And so we come to a recent find of this Mario 64 footage from the Shoshenkai 1995 event. While the quality may be very low, it was very casually picked up along with the other Mario 64 kiosks around at the event. Now from this one little clip, we actually can see a lot going on here. First off, we obviously see two characters on screen here in a similar shape to Mario. The one spinning down being a Mario with a green hue instead. Indeed Luigi. In this case, we are seeing Luigi do the old beta spin jump that Mario also used to be able to do in the beta here. Meanwhile, Mario may be crawling on the ground over there. But what I find fascinating here is how both are on screen at the same time without a split screen mode. How would this have functioned even? Would the camera pull further back as they go further and further apart like a Smash Brothers game does with its characters? But that might not be the case so much, as there is incomplete code in the data for a split screen multiplayer function. If one completes it, the split screen feature works. My theory here is if they go too far apart, the game would have instantly switched to a split screen mode. Luigi's Mansion's lost multiplayer mode does much the same once restored in fact, from switching between single and split screen depending on the distance. However, this would have been very taxing on the N64, considering the low poly models used in this game, or even how things are unloaded at a distance, all this is done as a way to save on resources in some ways. But imagine going split screen, it would require the N64 to double its efforts in keeping everything in front of the two screens in high polygonal and loaded models. In fact, if we look back at the same piece of footage again, notice the map there? It's a very simple test map, looking a lot like the old test map that was discovered in that old leak, but in red. Now it's not to say that this red test map was the same as the green one, as they are color coded differently for a reason, but being a test map overall shows that they only 
really were able to get the multiplayer to maybe go as far as that and not so much working properly in an actual level with various enemies and objects everywhere. The theory for that map is that it was used as a sort of camera test for the multiplayer mode due to its simplicity and size. But seeing as this is the only known footage of the game running these two on such a similar map, shows that this may be the only place they could get them to run properly before being dropped due to the said memory issues that Miyamoto mentioned. But even after that, they did want to still have an essence of a multiplayer mode with a classic Mario Bros style minigame. But that idea also was dropped due to how the N64 lacked a second controller at launch. While this may have been a small bit of footage, it did paint a clearer picture for us of how far Luigi and the multiplayer mode may have went in development. And while in the end it was scrapped, over time modders restored Luigi's functionality into the game, and even Nintendo themselves brought him back for the DS edition, though without the multiplayer. However, while this may be another piece of the puzzle to the Luigi mystery, the beta content of Mario 64 may yet continue as more may leak out or are discovered. And if they do, I'll definitely plan to cover it, so hit the subscribe button for I'll plan to be back with more Mario and other games cut content soon. Hit the like button and comment below on how you think this game would have functioned with the multiplayer mode. So everyone, thank you for watching!